Hey guys, we're here in Central Park for BubbleCon, first day of the conference, and we ran into a lot of bubblers. So let's bring them in and talk about why they're excited for BubbleCon, Bubble in general, and anything else they're looking forward to during BubbleCon 2023. Let's go. Can you imagine if they had a native mobile bubble builder? I mean, that would be really freaking sweet where you could just deploy to both app stores on Bubble and web. That would be exciting, super exciting. Plus native animations between different pages. Ooh, super smooth user experience. That That's amazing. I'm looking forward to see if they're doing anything about AI, about building maybe something like the Flutter Flow. We've seen something like that. If, I, if Bubble have got something like that up their sleeve. Uh, I'm mainly just looking forward to like meeting people like you, and hanging out with a load of other bubblers. I don't know what uh, the talks are going to be like or if they're going to reveal anything. Do you think they're going to launch anything big? Maybe something small? What do you think's coming for them? I think probably something big, like it's the first bubble comp, so let's wait for it. <laughs> well, I hope you're right. We are finally here at BubbleCon, waiting to enter the venue for the first time. Super excited. Packed event, ready to get started. We have the stages up here. We'll see speakers up here. We have some cameras going on because of all the live streaming that is happening for this conference. Uh, so we should see some speakers over here. Uh, we have Josh and Emmanuel starting off today. Hopefully it's some juicy news because I am super stoked for that. But we have about, what is it, 100 seats in the room. Uh, it's pretty packed and pretty cozy, but you know, community coming close together, it's all good. Uh, love to see it. Another good turnout uh, for drinks and coffee this morning. So excited to get started with BubbleCon day two. Let's make it happen. Welcome to BubbleCon. My name is Emmanuel and I co-founded Bubble with Jack. Um, this is a day we've been looking for for a very, very long time. Our first user conference. After watching bubblers gather all over the, over the years, all around the world, both online and in meetups, it's very exciting to finally host our first event to celebrate our community and come together to talk about Bubble's future. Some of you may remember Josh and I in the very early years responding to almost every thread on the forum, and it's very, very special to see how far we've come since then. We have 300 people in this audience today, live at BubbleCon, and more than 10,000 tuning in from home. Collectively, you all are coming from 163 countries, and just yesterday, I had the opportunity to talk with people from Venezuela, Mexico, Brazil, Peru, Denmark, the United Kingdom, and Australia, and I'm sure I'm missing some. And I have to say, seeing people fly from all these very far places here to be with us is extremely heartwarming, so thank you. <laughs> Collectively, people watching here have built nearly 40,000 applications, and these apps have about 300, a little bit more than 300,000 live, live pages using 4.3 million workflows, <laughs> depending, on, depending on how you design it. <laughs> and more seriously, the, these apps are serving over 100 million users. Since the beginning of the year, more than 600 million page views for these applications as well. These numbers are just unbelievable. They illustrate not only how important no-code is when it comes to empowering builders to turn that vision into reality, but also the scale of the movement that we're collectively building. Out of curiosity, I'd like to get a show of hands here. How many of you have started a business on Bubble? And if you're online, you can use a hand emoji to share. And how many are considering starting a business on Bubble? Great. I hope you have a chance to connect here at BubbleCon with one another. There is so much passion here, as we saw yesterday already, and the community has accomplished so much already, and it's only the beginning. So. The Bubble movement would not exist without you. And again, thank you very much for being here. Bubble has matured a lot over the last 10 years, but we still have a long way to go to realize the platform's full potential. So today, Josh and I would like to highlight three emerging trends we're seeing in the space and share some exciting product announcements that will position Bubble as the go-to platform to build all kinds of software. How does that sound to everyone? Josh and I started working on Bubble well before the term no-code was understood or even coined. In fact, I think the first time I heard about no-code was from a New York investor in late 2018. And before that, during our first few years, we were repeatedly asked why something like Bubble would even make sense. But since then, and particularly over the last couple of years, 
no code has erupted. And we've seen, you know, companies and products popping up left and right, helping all type of people do more with clicks instead of code. And I have to say, we're very proud of ha to have pioneered with you what is now an entire category within technology. But of course, this being the tech world, the landscape is always evolving and evolving quickly. And so we want to talk about three trends we're seeing in the no-code space and how Bubble is accelerating them, catalyzing them, and leveraging them. And these are scale, artificial intelligence, and democratization. First, let's talk about scale. When we founded Bubble, we envisioned a platform that would disrupt how people launch companies. This meant more than just building a prototyping tool. This meant building a platform that would scale with our users. Now, we want to take the same companies till their IPO. We're still very early in this journey, but we've already made incredible progress today. We've seen billions of funds raised by Bubble startups. And here's another data point that I find particularly exciting. We found that Bubble apps with more than 100,000 users reached that milestone in less than five months. Bubble apps are now scaling quickly. An example I want to share here is Sinstall AI. It's an incredible example of what Bubble can do. This company was founded by two German brothers, uh, two, two brothers in Germany, Jacob and Albert. And like many founders, they faced a personal challenge and wanted to solve it. As AI was getting better and more and more models were appearing in the market, they weren't sure which one was the best for their needs. And so what they did is to build a proprietary model that would enable users to use the best agents for their needs without writing any code. In just six months, they built the initial version of the app on Bubble. They grew their business to more than 7,000 corporate customers and raised $1.8 million in funding. And they didn't even stop there. They created a plugin that would then empower Bubble users to add these kind of capabilities to the application as well. Bubble is the platform that allows this kind of velocity. From simplifying email processes to augmenting customer support, saving their customers' time and money, Thingsflow AI is having a huge impact on their customers. This team is democratizing how anyone can tap into the power of AI by building deep, task-specific AI agents that really work. Thingsflow AI stands as a testament to what's possible in Bubble, regardless of the technical depth of the venture. And I'm proud to say that the bond between Sinsful AI and Bubble is so strong that their first users and feedback came from this very Bubble community. They began here, they grew here, and they continue to thrive here. As our users like Thingsflow AI continue to scale on and set high ambitions, we have to keep up with their needs. We understood that growth, we understand that growth demands enhanced security, compliance, and controls. And we are determined to make sure that every project built on Bubble, from proof of concept, to large-scale applications follow industry standards in terms of security and reliability. For example, just last month, as we announced Bubble for Enterprise, we strengthened our approach to GDPR, introduced SOC 2 compliance, and introduced also robust administrative controls. And this isn't just for enterprise customers, by the way. Every application, whether you're just getting started or operating at scale, benefits from Bubble meet, meeting top-notch security standards and giving you more administrative controls. Introducing more features that make sure that it's even easier for businesses to scale on Bubble is a priority, and Josh will share more on this in a few minutes. There has been a lot of hype about AI over the last year, isn't it? And we've been asked repeatedly how AI is impacting platforms like Bubble, and sometimes even whether it could make no code irrelevant. Our view is exactly the opposite. AI combined with no-code opens an extremely exciting world of opportunities. Implemented properly with the right level of ambition, competence, and craft, AI can become a catalyst for massive empowerment and decentralization. In other words, AI and Bubble share the same vision and goal and have to work together to realize that vision faster. We have assembled a team of experts who have been actively working to bring new AI capabilities into our own platform's experience. So it's very important for us we took the time to look into generative AI with care. We wanted to make sure that we combine what AI can do with Bubble unique full stack capabilities in a way that delivers real value. Our AI team has been researching, testing, and exploring what's possible, and we now have a solid roadmap in place. Our goal for the Bubble experience is to be seamless, a seamless blend of conversational editing and um, AI and visual editing. In other words, building software should be as easy as speaking. We're starting with the design tab, 
It will allow you to use AI to design sleek, modern web pages for any use case. An AI designer should quickly whip up a few prototypes from a simple text prompt, and that will save you time to let you focus on what really matters, which is your business logic. That's what we're aiming to release to our users. But this isn't the only way AI and Bubble can work together. We've loved watching the community turn to Bubble as the place to start their AI-powered businesses. I just mentioned Tinsflow AI as an example, but we've had nearly 20,000 apps installing AI plugins over the last year. Bubble is now serving as a powerful partner for AI entrepreneurs. The last topic I want to discuss here is democratization. Bubble was founded on the idea that everyone should be able to benefit from technology and participate in its creation. Today, building software is expensive to build and maintain, and you usually need to hire a technical team to solve your problems. And the truth is, most people just can't do that. With Bubble, our goal is to reduce the cost of creating technology to make it truly accessible to all. That's what we mean by democratization of technology. We've made a lot of progress here, and the trend is still accelerating. For example, we have 10 times as many users on Bubble as we did when we first raised capital in 2019. And these users are coming from nearly every country in the world. I've just listed the list of countries, but Looking at, um, overall, outside of the United States, some of the countries with the largest bubble presence include Brazil, India, and France. This acceleration and democratization means that more and more founders can build the companies they dream of in less time and with less resources. They can create the conditions for their economic successes more easily. It also means that developers and teams working at companies at any stage of growth, from the smallest startups to the largest companies, are now empowered to solve their problems while saving on time and cost, instead of depending on expensive engineering resources. No code and bubble are also creating jobs. Right now, and there are many of you here, there are thousands of bubble developers active in the community on LinkedIn and on other job listing sites, helping others get their product off the ground. New roles and opportunities are opening up for creators, community builders, and educators. The global economy is expanding through increasing tech accessibility, and that's happening on Bubble. One incredible example I want to share here is a French nonprofit, Mon Projet de Naissance. In the midst of the COVID pandemic, Jacques Durand partnered with Dr. Le Vavasseur and uh, Cornelis, and they saw that because of the pandemic, expecting mothers were facing unprecedented childbirth challenges, like limited trading before birth and rapid discharges after, uh, from hospital. And this was urgent. They needed the technologies that would digitize their experience, and of course, on a nonprofit budget. Using Bubble, they were able to do it. One single Bubble developer was able to build the app and in a few days launch what is a resource packed website that addresses new mothers' most pressing childbirth questions and connect them with one another. Today, this platform has helped more than 30,000 people. Mon Projet Naissance is a perfect example of the democratizing power of no code platforms like Bubble. And this isn't just an isolated story, by the way. It's indicative of a growing trend. More and more people are joining this movement, regardless of the technical background. We are at the beginning of a shift where a significant part of the workforce, including many of you here, will be the architects of tools tailored to their teams and customers. In other words, no code tools are turning people into, who have intimate understanding of unique problems into technology and solution creators. Enabling someone to use technology with such a purpose is exactly why the Bubble team is devoting its energy and building its platform. Empowering businesses to scale on Bubble, incorporating cutting edge technologies like generative AI that enable you to do more with less, regardless of your technical expertise, and getting more and more people to not just consume, but create technology. These are the trends we're here to nurture and grow. Now, I'm excited to introduce my friend and co-founder, Josh, who will share more about how we're planning to do this in the coming months. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Josh. I co-founded Bubble with Emmanuel. Great technology is about intersections. The iPhone merged the phone and the computer. Windows merged graphics with operating systems, and Amazon Web Services combined data centers and software. Bubble 
combines design, data, and logic. It's the intersection of design, data, and logic on top of a platform, a platform that's secure and scalable. And you need all of these elements because no-code developers don't want an inferior substitute for code. What they truly want is an elevation of it, a way of building end-to-end -end real production-ready apps. Let me share what I mean by that. Starting with design, web and mobile are visual mediums. We don't want to accept limitations on how our software looks and feels, but looks aren't enough by themselves. Design needs to be backed by data. Apps aren't static, they're alive, and data is what powers that life. The other thing that powers that life is logic. We want apps that are smart and interactive, and that's where logic comes in. Finally, let's talk about the platform. Our vision for no code is that building and hosting won't be isolated from each other. The platform you host on, its ability to understand, observe, and scale with your app, and its ecosystem of integrations will be as integral to the product experience as the visual editor. We're here to help you build, and we're also here to help you scale. Now, let's take a look at the updates we're making across these pillars, starting with data. There is no reason that no code needs to be any slower than native code. When we think about the future of data on Bubble, we imagine displaying and editing data as fast as doing a search on Google. We imagine transactions across millions of rows completed in seconds. We imagine one-click extract, transform, and load pipelines to the data analysis tool of your choice. And we imagine doing this by having multiple backends behind the scenes. Not just SQL, not just NoSQL, but a range of systems depending on use case, allowing queries to scale into true big data territory. You don't get that kind of scale out of the box with native code. Today, if you want that, we're talking millions of dollars of engineering. We want to make that kind of scale available to anyone. Let me translate that for those of you who are new to app development. We want to make it so that anything a full stack engineer can achieve with code can be done on Bubble faster and more easily. I'm excited to share with you what we're doing today to get us closer to this vision. Bubble already gets you an out-of-the-box database, but we know that as your data scales, keeping it blazing fast becomes more of a challenge. This community is brilliant, and you've come up with workarounds so that apps of any size can run on Bubble. But we can do better. Specifically, we are going after recursive backend workflows because while they have their place, we don't think they should be the default solution for manipulating data at scale. Here's to recursive backend workflows not being the default solution. Thank you. <laughs> Step one is to take what we have and make it faster. I'm happy to report we've already transformed two of our core actions. The action make changes to a list of things has become more than twice as fast since July. And schedule API workflow on a list has gotten 10 times faster. You can now use this action to run workflows on tens of thousands of things in one go. Expect to see more improvements coming soon. We're going to make those two actions even faster, and we're also going to speed up, delete a list of things, and CSV uploads. We want to make creating and deleting in Bubble fast. We're doing this work for two reasons. The first is that these actions are used by apps today, and every ounce of performance that we squeeze out of them matters to you. But the other reason why we're doing this is to lay a foundation. We are building on top of the code that powers these actions to create a new paradigm for transforming data at scale. That paradigm is called bulk operations, and it's coming in the third quarter of 2024. With bulk operations, you'll be able to run backend workflows on millions of things reliably and efficiently. Bulk operations will be a Swiss army knife letting you create, delete, update, import, and export data, whatever you need to do. Unlike recursive workflows, they're straightforward to build, can run in parallel, and are fast and cost-effective. This is the missing feature that makes Bubble the ultimate platform for data processing at scale. Let's switch gears and talk about logic. Bubble's visual programming language 
enables users to build apps that can do virtually anything. When Emmanuel and I first started working on Bubble, people would say there was no way we could build a no-code language as flexible and customizable as native code. I don't like to gloat, but when I look at what this community has built with Bubble, I'd say the haters got it very, very wrong. If you've built an app on Bubble before, you've seen this through creating custom workflows, specifying conditionals, integrating external databases and APIs, and extending Bubble via plugins. You can even turn your app into its own API, making Bubble truly limitless. Frankly, no other no-code platform comes close to Bubble on Logic. But we're not content to rest on our accomplishments. Logic is the heart of what we do. We know we can make it even more intuitive and powerful. That's why we recently released the beta version of our new Expression Composer. A little background for anyone who's new to expressions or logic in general. Bubble expressions are live formulas that can react to data and user interactions with your app. They're what turn your designs into living pages. Our expression composer is one of the things that makes Bubble unique. You can write logic that reads like English sentences. Our new expression composer takes things one step further by making it just as easy to edit expressions as it is to write them. Now, you can insert and modify words mid-expression, just like you can edit words in a document. You can also see the structure of the expressions with our new automatic parentheses. Finally, this update turns your keyboard into an editing tool. Better keyboard controls means faster development. The team is hard at work addressing the great feedback from our beta testers. We're excited for this to be the default experience for everyone in the first quarter of 2024. Another update coming soon, returning data from custom events. Custom events are one of Bubble's most powerful features, and this update brings them fully up to par with functions in native code. For those unfamiliar, functions are the building blocks of code that create an output from a given input. When you compare no code to code, we know there's still a perception out there that code is more powerful. And what makes code powerful is the way you can build those tiny pieces of logic that can be stacked together into larger assemblies. Well, custom events, as you know, are Bubble's answer to that capability. If you've been building on Bubble for a while, you've experienced pages with hundreds of events. Frankly, that's tough to work with and keep organized. Custom events let you reuse logic so that you can shrink the size of your apps. And custom events that can return data take that to the next level. Soon, you'll be able to add one or more fields to each custom event, indicating the names and types of data it can return. You'll be able to use a return data action to choose that data and then you can access it in the parent workflow by clicking result of previous action. We expect to see less crowded workflow tabs as you embrace this new capability. That makes apps easier to maintain, organize, and collaborate on. I should say this is not just a one-off feature. It's part of a bigger mission to make Bubble apps more modular and to make sure anything code can do, Bubble can do. For companies operating at scale, these updates help teams move faster. We want to help our users build maintainable apps that you can have a 10, a 20, a 50 person development team working on. That is exciting. Logic is exciting. Now let's talk about design. With a show of hands, how many of you would consider yourselves designers? You can raise an emoji hand in the uh, chat too. Yes, thank you all for being here. Love seeing uh, a bunch of designers in the audience. It's, it's super, super exciting. We are really excited about all the amazing designers building beautiful things on Bubble. And for those of you not from a design background, we're excited how Bubble can help you create amazing, distinctive apps too. Bubble lets you bring your designs to life. It's the only place you have full creative control on the front end without having to sacrifice functionality. Over the last year, we've built out tools to make it easier and faster to design great looking apps with things like the component library and our responsive design engine. We know that many of you enjoy the creative process of going step by step, but we're always finding ways to let our users move even faster. And you know what's really fast? When your tool is an active partner in the design process with you. 10 years ago, that was unimaginable. Today, we have artificial intelligence. 
AI shines when it's acting as a sparring partner for a human creator. It is not as smart or as capable as you are, but it can give you the V1, feed you ideas, automate tedious building, and do the polishing work on what you envision. We've built a system for generating bubble page layouts with AI. Our team of experts is improving and refining it to make sure the output is amazing. In the future, this will go beyond just the design of an app. But today, we're excited to share the first step for Bubble AI. Here's a clip. At Bubble, we're always working to break down the barriers between you and your next big idea. That's why we're bringing you Bubble AI. Imagine only using a few words to transform a blank canvas into a fully designed page that's clean and modern. Whether you're starting a new app or adding a page to your existing app, Bubble AI generates designs in seconds. So you can focus on building your business logic and connecting everything together. This is only the beginning. Across design, data, and logic, Bubble and AI are a natural partnership. So stay tuned for what's to come, because who knows what big idea you'll think of next. Build it with Bubble. With Bubble AI, you'll be able to build pages in Bubble in seconds. Not just a template, but a fully designed layout unique to your app and customized to your needs. This is coming soon. We want this in your hands in the first half of 2024. After that, we'll build AI tools to speed up expressions, data, and workflows. By the end of 2024, we're hoping that you can build version one of your app entirely with AI. One thing I wanna to touch on, we're taking responsible AI seriously. I wrote a blog post in September outlining the principles we'll be following to make sure we don't compromise user data privacy. As Emmanuel mentioned, when AI is implemented properly, it holds tremendous promise for no-code. It can become an engine for empowerment and decentralization, and we are committed to leading that charge. Okay, let's talk about something even more exciting than AI. AI is big, yes, but I think you're going to like my next update. Native mobile for bubble. <laughs> this is the number one request we get from users. No surprise. Yes, you can wrap a bubble web app to make it run on Android and iPhone. And many of you do, because Bubble's logic and data functionality is so powerful. But we know that what you really want is something designed from the ground up to be truly phone native, something that feels like a mobile app. Who's excited about this? <laughs> well, get excited. The mobile revolution is coming. Check out our preview. Bubble supports millions of builders, turning their ideas into full-stack web apps. And now, we're bringing that power to mobile. The same ability to build full-stack, no-code applications is coming soon to Android and iOS. Define gestures, native components, and navigation, all on an intuitive canvas. Preview your application live on your device and publish to the app stores when you're ready to launch to the world. Build the next big app. Build it with Buffle. We're not going to be the first no-code mobile app builder, but nothing on the market today comes close to touching Bubble's power. Native mobile apps on Bubble will share the same databases, backend APIs, and logic that Bubble has today, and they will seamlessly integrate with your existing web apps. Because we're creating native mobile from the ground up, we're taking the best parts of building with Bubble and remixing them for mobile. It's going to feel great. Swiping, layer and screen management, device functionality. And like everything on Bubble, it's batteries included. You'll be able to preview the app on your phone while you build. We'll even help you submit to the App Store. Put simply, our goal is to become the default builder for mobile applications. 
full stop. We think we can build the best mobile creation experience on the market. This is a big project, and we're in the beginning phases. We've proved out the technology and its ability to integrate with bubble workflows and data. And we're now building an incredible editor experience for bringing apps to life. We're expecting to have a beta that includes building an app and exporting to Apple and Google Play app stores in mid-2024. We would love for you to follow along. To get updates on our progress, please sign up for the waitlist at bubble.io slash mobile. This minute, the presentation with Josh Emanuel and Alan from Product. What did you think about it all? Uh, I was real exciting. I was like, I think everybody was very, very excited for that talk, and we didn't even like anticipate how exciting it would be. It was cool. It was real cool. We got mobile native. We got AI. We got data performance increases. Uh, it's coming a little bit later, yeah. mid 24, late 24. It will get there, but it's really exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. The thing that I've been waiting for the most for years is bubble native mobile, and it is coming mid 2024. So for anyone who's starting a company now, you have zero excuse not to start building on bubble. Web mobile and the whole Debit thing, baby. Full stack, 100%. Yep. Start ends here, done. And what about uh, bulk data and AI? What do you think about that? That's amazing too. Data is like gonna be a big change. Apple like making apps more faster and this bulk operation. Can I look rock? Can't wait. Uh, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, to be honest, like I love being here and meeting everyone like you and Kelly here. Uh, I'm will start slot to be honest. And uh, yeah, it's very cool. I'm, I, I do not regret any single penny that I paid for all the tickets that I got. I was uh, super excited about the AI announcement. I think that anything that makes uh, the life of an agency or a public developer, whether you're building an app for yourself or you're building for clients, I think anything that makes life easier is always welcome. I love the idea that you can go from a text prompt for your first page from a text prompt really to excited. the initial yeah. pieces of the app. And I think that was the most text prompt for design for workflow suggestions there's a lot that could be done there to really speed things up that's super exciting page vote speed is of utmost importance also very exciting from an seo perspective so so far so good i think one of the reasons why bubble hits home for me as a previous non-technical founder trying to figure out software for the first time it's hard it's expensive right and so Eventually, after several years, I ran out of money and I needed to figure it out for myself. And that's where Bubble came in. And it's so exciting and awesome to see so many other people like me at BubbleCon, uh, founders, agency owners, everything, all walks of life, different countries coming together to just celebrate one thing, just being passionate about building uh, together, building applications, building companies. There's just excitement. Um, it's just contagious. And that's just another reason why I think BubbleCon is so cool. It's small, it's intimate but so much more to come in this year, later today, and in the future with the Bubble community, which is just so special. Guys, we are at the Bubble office in New York City. For the first time, we just met with Emmanuel and Josh and a bunch of others in the community. It was a real treat. We had a awesome conversation, talked about how Bubble got started in the first place, talked about how Bubble became the name Bubble, and so much more. Beautiful office space, really open. We get to meet a lot of the engineers, the PMs, people on the front line with success. Generally, it's just a fantastic way to wrap up BubbleCon 2023. Couldn't be happier.